Hi, good morning and welcome to our meditation. Today is the 24th of June. I would like to read in Pro, um, sorry, not in Proverbs, in, in Revelation chapter 1, verse 4. John to the seven churches in the province of Asia. Grace and peace to you from him who is, who was and is to come and from the seven spirits before the throne. Wonderful uh, word of God in Revelation chapter 1, verse 4. So this letter of Revelation was sent to the seven churches in Asia Minor. We're not talking about the great, the big continent of Asia, but we're talking about a, province, a Roman province that was actually, is actually in the actual Turkey. It's to the west, the western part of Turkey. There were about 10 churches in that uh, region in John's time, but he's only sending, Jesus is only sending this letter to seven churches. Is that a coincidence? Of course, it's not a coincidence at all, because we know that this letter has been sent to the totality of the church. That's why he only chose seven. They, they first, the first people to receive the letter were those seven churches, but they are, this letter is for the totality of the churches. We find in that same region, the, 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 um, the church of uh, Coloss Colossians, but the Colossian church is not receiving this letter because that way there would be uh, eight churches and not seven. We can we can imagine that this letter was also, also sent to the at the end to the church of Col Colossian, the Colossian church, because uh, these were circular letters, like the letter to the Colossian church was supposed to be sent as well to Laodicea, as it is written in the book of Colossians. And other churches as well were going to receive a copy of those letters. So the way, the same way we have received this letter now in your own language, these, those are the churches as well re read the, the letter. But it was sent to seven churches first. Very interesting thing to know that it's sent to the totality of the church. We have seen that the, the number seven appears more than 50 times in the book of Revelation. Grace and peace to you from him who is, who was, and is to come. Grace and peace. Uh, it, it is talking ag again about the whole gospel here because we are saved by grace. And Paul says in Romans chapter 5, verse 1, that being uh, reconciled with uh, God, we have, with God in Christ, we have peace. Being reconciled by Christ, we have peace with God. So you receive peace when you are saved by grace. Saved by Christ's redemption and justification, and then you have peace. Some other people say as well, the grace was the way that the Romans greeted, and the Hebrews uh, they they used shalom, the peace. So we have again the totality of the of God's people. Paul is, is used the same expression, grace and peace. So it is very important to realize that John here is doing the same thing as a, another apostle would have done, sending a letter to a group of Christians. And it is that from the one who was what is, is and is to come. And that's the way God revealed himself to Moses. Moses wanted to know what God's name was because in Egypt there were many gods and they each had their own name. As the Greeks had all those gods and different names as well for each god. The Romans did as well. Even here in the Basque country, in the Basque mythology, you would have different gods and goddesses. Goddesses. And they all have their own names. So what is God's name? And God is not going to say, my name is, but he says, said, I am. He is the great I am, the one who was, who is, and is to come. He is an eternal present. He is yesterday. He is today. He is tomorrow. He is always the same. And that's the way Jesus is revealing himself, because this is the revelation of Jesus Christ here in this wonderful letter. And it is also from... Um, let's read another text in Revelation chapter 1, verse 8. Let's read together. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who was, who is, and is to come, the Almighty. Interesting that in verse 4, he is talking, uh, Jesus is saying uh, that, he's revealing himself. Here, it, say, it is from God. So Jesus is God, the Son of God. He's with us today. And he's going to be with us today forever. And we are going to be with him. 
at the end, he says that this letter is sent from the seven spirits of God. Again, seven churches, seven spirits of God. So we know that the Holy Spirit is only one. Where, where, what is it from? What is this expression coming from? It comes from the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 11, verse 2. And Isaiah chapter 11, verse 2 talks about the Messiah. The Spirit of the Lord will rest on the Messiah. Spirit of the Lord, one. The Spirit of wisdom, two. The Spirit of understanding, three. The Spirit of counsel, four. The Spirit of might, five. The Spirit of knowledge, six. The Spirit of of the fear of the Lord, seven. The seven spirits of God comes from Isaiah chapter 11, verse 2. And, and the seven spirits of God in, in Isaiah chapter 11 was going to be upon the Messiah. So the letter comes from the one who was and is to come and from the spirit of God. It's the same spirit that is in you if you have Christ in you. In the book of Revelation, Christ is a conqueror. And you will be more than a conqueror if you are in Christ Jesus, says Paul. God bless you.